Hello, dear visitors. I am Jeff, Process Technology Director from Kada Shoe Maker. I am very glad to have this chance to make our presentation here through ICCX. Thank you. Today, I would like to give a brief introduction to our company and share some practical experience about the common problems cases occurred in the AAC production. Our company, Kada Shoe Maker, is rated as China national high tech enterprise focusing on providing complete AAC plant solution. We are also the vice president of China Average Concrete Association. As a leader from China AAC industry and to promote the development of AAC is a responsibility entrusted to us by the industry and the country. We have undertaken the China 13th five-year plan AAC project and added five China national AAC standards and 12 AAC industrial standards. We have Provincial Experiment Center and National Postdoctoral Research Workstation, and we organize the skill training conference regularly in China. Nowadays, China produces and consumes a large number of AAC every year. There are about 2,400 AAC production lines in China. Up to now, our AAC plants have been distributed all over China and other countries in Southeast Asia, Middle East, South Asia, Europe, South America. So today, we would like to share some practical experience with you, and we believe exchanging idea and experience can make us progress. Here, let's see some cases. The first problem we would like to talk is about the height of the green cake. If we find the height of the green cake is not enough, we may consider about the insufficient amount of actual materials, which may be caused by measurement errors. The ratio of water to solid is also very important. We will mention the issue frequently in the following problems. If the ratio of water to solid is too low, the slurry viscosity is too high. Like this problem, our team will provide local guidance at the site. And sometimes the quality of aluminum powder should also be taken into consideration. In some other cases, the height problem is opposite which means the height of green cake exceeds the model height. In this case, we should consider the measurement issue again, and maybe the ratio of water to solid is too high. Here means the proportion of the slurry is too small, or the additional water is too much. During the trial production stage, we should take about the measurement of aluminum powder. The error of aluminum powder measurement or the amount of aluminum powder is high at the beginning of the AAC plant running. We found it often happens that the amount of two modes of aluminum paste are added into one mode. The next point we would like to talk about about the collapse of the green cake. Sometimes when the speed of gas forming does not match well or much higher than the thickening speed, the slurry cannot spot its own weight and the bubbles escape from a certain part of the slurry so that the slurry loses its balance and causes the overall collapse, or the probing process fails. First, we should check the lime slicking speed. If speed is so high and the amount of lime added is too large, this will cause the collapse. Another possible cause is the temperature of slurry is too high during pouring. Normally, according to our experience, the slurry temperature should not exceed 46 degrees. Also, we may consider the slurry thickness is too low, or the aggregate too coarse, and the fineness of slurry is not enough. We should also consider the aluminum powder. If the aluminum powder fineness is too high, it will also cause certain problems. The speed of gas forming is too high at early stage, but the viscosity of the slurry does not increase at the same time. This will cause the slurry to not able to hold the bubbles in a stable condition some bubbles overflow from the slurry, resulting in overall collapse. During the trial production, sometimes we found it takes more than four hours to harden the cake for cutting. During the trial production, if the environment temperature of workshop and the cooling room is low, it will absorb the heat from the cake. Finally, it will influence the time of cement, hydration, and hardness. As a result, the cake hardening will take too much time. Another factor we should take a look is the steam pressure is not enough during the pouring, which causes the temperature of the slurry is too low. 
Also, we should check the raw material, and if the ratio of calcium to silicon is too low, the ratio of water to solid is too high, the amount of gypsum is not proper are also possible causes. In here, we would like to make a brief summary of the main factors which may affect the cake hardness. The quality of lime is important. If we use a quick lime, it will cause the slurry temperature heats up too fast in the early stage and insufficient heat in the later stage. Next factor is about the cement. The type of cement will influence the rate of hydration. And we should check the ratio of water to solid again. If the ratio of solid is too high, it will also affect the cake hardness. The temperature cannot be ignored, basically means the slurry temperature during the pouring and the environment temperature. And the amount of gypsum should be less than 6%, otherwise it will take more time to reach the hardness for cutting. Now let's talk about the defect on the product. For example, how to avoid the big pore on the cutting surface. We may consider to reduce the slurry viscosity by adding more additional water. And in China, we will set a bubble treatment machine during the pouring process, which will help the bubble distributed equally and reduce some big size bubbles. The vibration time is related to the slurry viscosity. If the vibration time is too short, this will increase the viscosity of slurry. Usually, the vibration process should be finished within 10 to 25 seconds. Otherwise, a big pore will appear, especially with raw material like tailing and sand. Normally, according to our experience, if the mud content is more than 10%, the big pore may appear. The other defect is the cake surface crack during the pre-curing, especially in the cake corner. Temperature is very important during the pre-curing. First, the temperature of the curing room should be controlled within 45 to 55 degrees, and the slurry temperature during pouring should not be below 35 degrees. Also, the oil bond line content should be controlled, and the internal and the external temperature difference of the cake is too big, like more than 20 degrees may cause a crack during the pre-curing. Next problem is about the panel crack after autoclaving. The AC panel is different with the AC block. The vertical cracks at cake ends are probably caused by the mismatch of expansion between the cake and the steel bus. These cracks usually appear in those long and thin panels. We should adopt the suitable raw materials, especially notice the quality of lime and cement. Medium speed lime is more suitable, and the initial setting time of cement should be within 170 minutes. And sometimes we found the green cake heat preservation effect before autoclaving is not ideal. In this case, the temperature of cake is low, and there is a large temperature difference between the internal and the surface of the cake, which may cause a crack during autoclaving. Generally, we can make up the steam to warm up the cake before autoclaving vacuuming. This will reduce the temperature difference between the internal and the surface of the cake. In China, we usually set up an insulation room for panel cake groping before the claving to ensure the cake temperature in a proper range. Compared with the block, the panel has a large volume and building steel bus, so the heating speed is much slower and cause a crack on the panel. In this case, we should consider to control the vacuum pressure. Thank you for listening. This presentation is just for sharing some practical experience and all the issues should be considered case by case. We would like to exchange ideas with all of you, and we are open to share and study some typical issues about AAC. As for our project service, we always provide a raw material test and formula design to our customers. We will also provide the site processing guidance to help them produce high quality AAC product and we always keep in touch with customers in case some problems occur due to their resources of raw materials are not stable. What's more, we are also researching on solid waste of for AAC production. Now I would like to share a small video about one of our projects to you. Thank you for visiting again.
Thank you, dear friends, as this presentation is translated by my interpreter. So for more discussion, welcome to visit our booth and contact me through email. Hope we can meet you personally someday in the nearly future. Really appreciate our time here. Thanks to ICCX again.